Burnout is defined as the feeling we get when the reward for what you do is not equal or more than the effort you put into it. It looks like an empty page. It sounds like frustrated sighs and it feels like you just want to create something and you know you love what you do, but you can't keep going on like this because you keep putting your heart and soul into everything and you don't ever get anything back. And it's terrifying because what if it goes on like this forever and you end up broke and you go crazy and maybe you'll die alone in this pointless pursuit of nothingness and this endless cruel suffering that we seem to call life. We all know the stories. Something just clicks one day. Suddenly you can't get your ideas out fast enough. It's like suddenly this whole creativity thing is the easiest thing in the world and nothing could ever kill this moment. Voila, you have to share it with the world before the flame dies. And you feel it like something's different this time. This is it. An hour goes by and then two and then three and nothing's happened. There's no praise, there's no glory, nothing. It takes days or weeks or months to finally pick yourself back up and start creating again, but it feels so wrong to be down about the things that you love doing. And it feels even worse because you carry this immense pressure to just create something, just so people don't forget about you. So nobody cares about your art, you feel like a complete failure, and your brain is just one big pile of mush. What do you do? Creating things isn't fun when you're forcing yourself to do it. It's a meaningless pursuit and it gets even more miserable when you're holding your creativity at gunpoint. You can't force yourself to make something great. The only way to make good art is to care about the things that you're making. And when you care, we care. Your job is to make people care. And if you're not able to do that right now, try giving up for a bit. Let yourself burn out. The world's still gonna be here when you feel like you can make your next masterpiece. And when that flame gets ignited again, We'll still be here rooting you on. I promise. Listen, this whole creativity thing is incredibly frustrating and difficult. And having ways to help yourself out of these slumps is going to be just as important as accepting them at all. And I struggle with this a lot. So in this video, I talked about some ways that have really helped me deal with the struggles and pitfalls and blocks of creativity that I face all the time. Look, none of this is easy. Knowing what to do in these low points is really going to keep you going when you feel like all you want to do is quit. Going easy on yourself is always going to be the better option than quitting every single time.